Hello, we're going to talk about hydraulic link based on the um, energy conservation principle. So the title is hydraulic link. Lift, okay, I try to lift, right? Yeah, it's also called uh, Qian Jin Ding, right? In Chinese. Based on uh, based on conservation of energy. Okay, all right. So we all know that hydraulic lift or jack, right? You can also call that jack. It looks like this. Okay. So inside here, it's all fluid, right? It's all fluid. It's like some sort of oil, right? Okay. So the area here, um, changing color here, right? The area here, we're gonna call that A1. And the area here, we're gonna call it that A2, okay? This is not drawn to the scale, but we we'll try. All right, so imagine that this fluid is filled up to here, okay? And then if you will press, if you will press uh, downward, right? If you will press downward uh, with a pressure, right? So let's call that P1. Then what will be the pressure there, okay? So what will be the pressure that's, that's going to be, you know, going up here? Uh, what will be the pressure of P2 there, okay? So we're gonna assume there's no, no loss of energy, right? When we press here and this move a little bit and try to press up, right? So no loss of energy, okay? No loss of energy. So we're using conservation of energy. We say, well, so the work done here must be equal to the work done there, okay? Okay, so then when we do that, we say F1, right? So that will be A1 times P1, right? Times the D1. So let's say we press down by about this much, D1. We're exaggerating, right? And then what will be the, what will be, this will be D2 there, right? So it's gonna move, you know, move that much, right? So this press down, that's gonna go up, right? Okay, so F1 times D1, it's gonna be equal to F2 times D2, okay? So that's based on the work in, it's equal to the work out, okay? And F1 from the definition is equal to P1 pressure times area, and then times D1. And this is pressure two times area two, and then times D2, okay? So then we can find the ratio of P2 versus P1, which is equal to, okay, A1, D1, right? So P2, you move this over here, divided by A2, D2, right? Okay. Or you can find the, the ratio of the force too, right? So the ratio of the force will be uh, F2 versus F1. It's going to be D1 over D2, okay? But we do know, right? Let me change the color again. Color again, right? We do know this volume doesn't change, right? Volume doesn't change. Okay, so the volume right on this side here, it's gonna be right there, right? And on this side here, it's gonna be right here, right? This, this volume is the same, right? If you, yeah? So this volume doesn't change, and so because it's incompressible, right? So volume doesn't change, so that's equal to, V1 is equal to A1, D1, right? And that's equal to V2 which is equal to A2, D2, okay? All right, so we know from here that 
d1 over d2 is also equal to a2 over a1, right? Okay, so then this you can also show it as a2 over a1. Okay, so we can see a2 is a lot larger than, than a1, right? a2 is much larger than a1. So then you can see that so f2 must be much larger than f1. Okay, right? And you can also see that this is equal to v1 and that's equal to v2 and they are the same. So the pressure is the same, that's equal to one, okay? So the pressure is the same, the P1 and P2 is the same here, right? Okay, so that's the hydraulic lift. So if you press uh, a force on this side, you're gonna produce a much larger force. And the ratio of that, it's the ratio of the area, right? So if you have a larger ratio, uh, A2 over A1, you're gonna have a larger force in the output here, and this output here, the F2 is going up this way, and F1 is going down this way. Okay, so that's all we have today. Until next time, bye-bye now.